Alan Julian in goal, uh, Tommy Block, Rory Donaldson, Dean Inman, Sam Deadfield, Jake Gray, Zach Robinson, Jack McKnight, Terrell Miller Rodney as captain, Kyron Farrell, and Brandon Barsey getting his first start in a Hampton shirt. On the bench for the Beavers is Leo Hamlin, and Shane Dunn, Jerome Slew, David Fisher, and Zach Dronfield. His whistle, and there's the first half. Hampton with the kickoff, played out wide by Dean Inman, down towards Jake Gray, but it goes straight out for a throw in. And he picks up the rebound, gets the ball into the back post. There's a good head, Tommy Block was there, and his head has gone wide. Uh, everybody's gone back except for Robinson. The kick there by Jeb to the back post, it's loose in the box, there's the number nine. And Jake Robinson opens the account this afternoon with just four minutes and twenty on the watch. It's yeah, another set piece as well. We spoke about it sort of prior to the game. It's been a real sort of Achilles heel for the Beavers this uh, this season, and that was. And Brandon Barty trying to beat two men does so. Great work there by Brandon Barty. Plays in Zach Robinson down the centre. Zach Robinson looking to beat the last defender. Can't do so, and that's well clear, well defended there by Dart for the third away. That was, you know, Zach Robinson would have been hoping to do better, but Brandon Barzi, you know, set his stall out really early. And there's no room there for Dartford to play it out. They're probably going to have to resort to a ball down the line. A ball down the line it is. Again, it, it's towards Kalala. Tommy Block's having to work hard and does well. And manages to clear the ball towards Deadfield. And Deadfield comes down with the ball. McKnight down the line towards Robinson, it's a, a throw in there to the Beavers, doesn't work. Dartford coming away now down there, right hand side, the Hampton left. It's the number seven, Danny Leonard. He's got McKnight in front of him, Farrell's tracked back, it's into the centre. It comes back to Jack Jeb, he shots only just over the bar. And although Alan Julian had it covered, that looked close. He's there by Dartford again. To work for Terrell Miller Rodney, but it doesn't work. And it's the number seven, Danny Leonard. He's beaten Jack McKnight. He's got to the goal line. Switches it onto his left foot, plays it into the centre, balls loose. Great save by Alan Julian. It's still in there. And Calvin Kalala had two chances there to beat Alan Julian. The first one, Jewel saved, and the second one went over the bar. Oh. Dartford are definitely thinking they've got something here. Jack Jeb to the back post. It's back into the box to the number eight. That's good. It's hit off the bar by Murta. Crossbar coming to Hampton's rescue there. Jules nearly had it to the back post there. Hampton have to get this ball away quickly, and Barsi does. High, and it's just on halfway. Zach Robinson chasing this with Josh Clark. He's getting there. He's just about got it. Yes, he has. Barsi plays it out wide to Jake Gray. Jake Gray is in some space there on the edge of the box on his left hand side. Tries to shot. It comes back across. That's the ball in. I'm just trying to see who it is, and it's the number eight, Sam Deadfield. Deadfield with the equaliser there in the 26th minute. Good ball across there to Jake Gray. Jake Gray took his time, picked out the pass, went all the way across goal to where Sam Deadfield was, and he calmly side-footed it into the back of the net. That's any kind of possession stats, and I think Hampton would definitely be in the ascendancy on this one. They've had a lot of the ball. And they're doing a lot more with it. And Robinson nearly breaks through there, but it's cleared away by Dartford. That's a header there by Jack McKnight. It's all cleared there by Dartford. One touch football there. A good work by Tr Terrell Miller. So Dartford with the free kick, just a yard or two inside the Hampton half to the back post. There's lots of Hampton bodies there. There's Robinson. Robinson's got in, and that's a second. Another set piece goal conceded there for the Beavers. So simple. And where is it going to end for the Beavers with set pieces? It was a nothing situation, it was a nothing free kick to the back post. It was headed back into the centre, played down the line towards Robinson. Robinson flicks it on to Jake Gray. Jake Gray on the edge of the box, looking to cut inside, tries to play Robinson in. Robinson does pick it up. Back into the box there. To the back post, Julian punches clear. It was sent into the box there by Kalala, but it's been cleared by the Beavers. It's picked up now by Danny Leonard. Dartford keeping everybody forward. 
Leonard looking to be looking to get the ball into the near post. Nearly does. But it's cleared away there by Miller Rodney, but sent back into the box. Cleared there by Hampton. Shot by the number four. That's a good save. And Robinson has the shot there. Sorry, it was looks like it was Tom Bonner with the shot there. Jules got hands onto that, blocked it. The V-bomb was nearly put away there by Bonner. But Dartford come back again. This time the ball to Kalala. Sends it inside. Tries the shot, beats Barsi. Taken quickly by Tom Miller Rodney. Great reverse pass there by Brandon Barsi. Tommy Block tried to effectively run through the Hampton, the Dartford player. But it's been picked up there again by Robinson. Inside to Barsi. Reference and penalty to Hampton. Barsi was brought down in the box there. The, Ham the Dartford players don't believe it. But so McKnight ready to take the penalty. Runs up, hits it, into the corner. It's 2-2. Penalty there by McKnight, cool as you like, sent the keeper the wrong way, and that's a well deserved equaliser there for the Beavers. Very much so, goes the opposite corner to he went on a Tuesday night, yes. I thought perhaps that was a, uh, playing in his mind, but you do not save those penalties. Come back around halfway, a ball out wide to Innocent. kalala has got Dean Inman in front of him, Dean Inman doing his best to try and keep on top of this one. He hasn't, ball's cleared. Cuts inside. Plays it to Gray, Gray's in some space. Got Zach Robinson in front of him. Plays it, oh, he ends up playing it behind Miller Rodney and Block. But it's good work there by Block to pick it up. Miller Rodney, he's got a sight of goal, gets the edge of the box, hits it. The shot hits Essam, it goes out wide, gets played back into the box. Hampton trying to make this pressure count, keeps the ball. Block, first time pass to Robinson. Great work there from Barzi. Beats his man, good turn into the box, back post. Oh, that's hit the ball down by Jake Gray, but the ball's revs are ready to, ready to play to carry on, and it's a corner to Hampton. The shot Sam there. Deadfield. Zach Robinson in a bit of space there. Ball falls to Jake Gray. Jake Gray out wide. Shot there. Oh, and it's just wide. Robinson's the only one that didn't. Ball out wide to Tommy Bock from the free kick. Barzi. Deadfield. Quick ball by Block down the line to Miller Rodney. Great turn there. There's a definite foul there on Miller Rodney. No attempt to play the ball there by Bonner and pulled in by the shirt. Midway inside the Dartford half. Farrell to the back post. That's a good clearing. That's a good free kick there. Thought it had fallen there to McKnight. And Wilkes just managed to catch the ball. Looking for an outlet. He's trying to send it out wide to Inkai Innocent. Innocent with the ball. Trying to play it inside. It's, it's gone back. To Murta. Hampton having to defend and defend deep. Jeb to the back post, but that's cleared there by Donaldson. It's good work. They've had to recycle the ball back. Trying to play into the box. The ball's loose at the rear post, and it's Aziz. I think it's Adi Aziz. Offside. But the referee has noticed the assistance flag on the far side. In the and it was Ball's carried on. Work there by Allen to get the ball out wide to Leonard. And good work, a good tackle there by Jake Gray. Wins the ball and carries it forward, breaking down the left-hand side. Zach Robinson needs to slow down, otherwise he'll be offside. Gets back onside. No free kick for that one. Sorry, Jake. Can't have that one. So, Dartford, no space to work in. Ball comes out wide to Innocent. Face with block. Good work there from... Miller Rodney there in midfield throwing his body around to make sure that the ball does not go past Gray to Fisher David Fisher takes it over to the far side but Dartford get the ball away by my watch of it looks like it's about to be five so Hampton with the ball over on the far side in front to the back post cross comes over that's good work there by Hampton. Ball into the box by Block. Block sends it back with the header. Aziz looking to turn McKnight, nearly turns McKnight. And McKnight is quite happy to accept. I mean, that really should be a yellow card for Jack McKnight. It's, a, it's an excellent foul from a Hampton point of view. He's yes. been turned. He pulled her. We just wait. Haven't seen it yet. It hasn't been announced. Hampton having to defend here. Header across goal and it's gone out for a goal kick. Good work there by Block, put his, putting his head in the way like that. Hampton coming forward with Dan. 
plays the ball down to Fisher. David Fisher has been forced out wide to the goal line. Comes back across goal. There's no Hampton player able to get there. That line. Hampton having to defend this one, having to defend well. And they have. It's played down the line. And the referee calls time on the game. And the final score here at Princess Park, a much better performance by the Beavers, a much better match all round. It's ended. Dartford 2, Hampton and Richmond Borough 2.